Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Amy Klobuchar's announcement that she is dropping out of being considered for vice president for Joe Biden, and um, what this means specifically for her 2024 um, milieu, right? All right, so um, Amy Klobuchar is a really fascinating um Politician, she was a major, major player in 2020. Uh, she was the primary rival. Uh, she, she went against every other candidate, of course, right? But when when you look at Joe Biden being pla- placed into, uh, when we see that Joe Biden is, you know, is is really solidly placed as the specific candidate for 2020. What what you're looking at is the power of the establishment, the power of. Uh, uh, the blue power base, right? Blue, the blue power base is what is the blue power base? So the blue power base is uh, a very blue. Oh, by the way, blue Democrat, red Republican. Um, so the blue power base is a very you know Democrat, Democrat symb- sympathetic uh, journalism platform, a fourth estate, right? Uh, the media, and then in addition to that, you have. Um, also, the, the DNC is part of the blue, blue power base. And then you have powerful, powerful donors who can come in and just bring millions of dollars to bear literally, on, you know, like on a pivot. You know, say, hey, we're going to get XYZ done. Uh, let's, let's scramble together $25, $50, 75000000 million to accomplish something for one candidate, right? And so that's what the blue power base is. It's essentially donors, media, and, uh, and the, the, the DNC infrastructure, right? So, oh, and also the blue, the blue voter base, fifty-one percent of the of the voters, right? They're in there, and they they have a little bit of sway. I'm not sure they have as much sway as any of those other groups I listed, but they're part of the blue, blue power base, right? So, with that, basically, you have this situation where um, you know the establishment candidates and and Joe Biden boy is he an establishment candidate? But is Amy Klobuchar an establishment candidate? Yes, she has very much become an establishment candidate, right? So one, uh, she dropped out right before Super Tuesday, right? And and I think that's strong evidence that she's an establishment candidate because uh, basically I, I think there was a phone call to her and saying, hey, it's it's Joe, we're, we're doing this, right? Uh, there's no way we're going to move the ball with Bernie. Uh, I think the blue power base was 100% right about that. I, I don't... Bernie would have been absolute lock loss against um, against Trump, right? Uh, and and really the the blue voters were really choosing uh, Bernie. And I, I think the blue power base is like, no, nah, we can't do this, man. We at least got to get something decent for the infrastructure. And Joe will give us, you know, Joe is predictable. We know we know what we're going to get from him. Let's let's do it this way, right? Now I think the problem is that what they didn't really understand is that. You're not going to take a you know a 77 year old candidate who is old. He's going to be older when he takes office than the oldest president was when the oldest president finished. That's that ain't going to work, right? It's just it's too much, right? So you have this situation with Joe, and and so Amy's there now. Now Amy got Amy competed with every single other candidate, right? However, because we have not had a female president yet. She really was going against Kamala Harris, and she was going against um, Elizabeth Warren in in a race that has been imposed upon her. Right? She shouldn't have to run against Kamala and Elizabeth specifically, but because there's never been a female president yet, I think the overall political structure of America is still imposing that uh, upon upon female candidates until there is a female a female president. Right? Well, just. You know, just this last week, Amy Klobuchar said, I'm pulling myself out of contention for uh, Joe Biden's VP. And boy, is Joe taking his time picking a female VP. Now, Joe Biden has promised to put in a, a female VP. It's a powerful promise. It got a ton of it. Of, of, uh, it really got a massive amount of attention when he made this promise. And legitimately so. It was one of the most exciting things that was ever said in any of the and de- any of the Democrat debates, and it, it really means there's an incredibly strong uh, uh, probability that we will have our first female president if Joe Biden is elected. Because I'm con- 
I'm predicting now. So one, I'm predicting that Joe Biden will lose, right? But if the one percent, if you know, if the D100 is rolled, if those dice are rolled, and the one percent chance that that Joe Biden would win come up and he wins, there's about a one percent chance, in my opinion, that he would possibly finish even his first term, right? Uh, so that means you would have your first female president under Joe Biden if Joe Biden is elected. Because I think it will be very, very quick um, where trans- there will be a transition from president to vice president. Uh, I, I, I think, and the way that would happen is I think Joe Biden would simply step, step down. And there's strong, there's strong reasoning that that's the case because Joe never wanted this. He, ne- he never wanted to be president after this was he could have he could have had the president if he wanted the presidency he didn't want the presidency we know this we know it from his words right he could have had it in 2016 he, he, he walked away from it and and here we are right? it's just I, I'm so astounded that we've landed here right so so basically Amy Klobuchar is an establishment candidate she has stated that uh, she's taking herself out of contention and she's saying that she specifically wants to make room for a person of color which is very responsive to the current situation, right? So, uh, and and I, I think, um, so there's a right thing to do, there's a wrong thing to do, right? And um, I'm not speaking about the, the morality, the right, the good or the bad of Amy Klobuchar stepping down to make room for a, a person of color, right? Uh, um, well, I, I think in response to what's been happening in the nation, I think it's a good thing, okay? Let's... So what I'm saying, so let's put that on the shelf there, right? Now I just want to talk about the optics of it. How does it look for Amy Klobuchar making this decision now, positioning her for 2024? It looks fantastic, all right? It is, it's an incredible move. It really, it puts her out ahead of Elizabeth Warren and it makes Elizabeth Warren, if Elizabeth Warren doesn't match, right, and drop out as well, it makes her look incredibly tone deaf to what's actually happening right now, right? So, um, so this is, fan, I think this is a fantastic move for Amy Klobuchar. It, it really, really positions her incredibly well for 2024. Because the reality is, it would be great to be named Joe Biden's vice president. But the reality is, what's the value of that? Virtually nothing. Right? There's only about a 1% chance that Joe has any chance of winning this election. He's going to get absolutely stomped in November. I mean, just ridiculously crushed. Uh, it, it's going to be an absolute massacre, in my opinion, right? So, okay, so so by stepping back, she really puts distance between herself and Elizabeth, and she says, hey, I understand and I see what's happening in the, in the nation. From an optics perspective, this is fantastic. So, actually, I think coming out of the 2020 election, Amy Klobuchar is probably the best positioned person to be a, a 2024 a uh, strong, viable candidate in 2024. And the reason why it was she ran a strong race. She did really, really well. And then uh, she got a lot of press attention uh, from just being considered as Joe Biden's VP. And then she magnified that attention by rejecting the VP slot, right? And it was just, it's absolutely brilliant. It's a, it's a very, very powerful, brilliant political move. And uh, now, I'm not, I'm not dismissing at all the value of what she actually did. I'm saying, in, in along with the, the moral value of stepping aside, there's incredible political and optical value in this move. And so I think it's extremely, it's a very, very good, strong chess move, right? It, it moves to the center of the board. You know, it uses space for some time. It is a powerful, powerful move. Uh, for her, and I really think coming out of the 2020 election, Amy Klobuchar is better, best positioned to run again in 2024. Now, I'm a longtime uh, Yang fan, and uh, you can see my math the pin right here, right? Uh, so why do I not think that Yang is positioned for that? Well, uh, actually, I think Yang is a much better leader and a much better um, is a much better leader and a much more capable. Uh, he's far more charismatic, far more intelligent, far more noble than Amy Klobuchar, right? But he's not positioned like Amy Klobuchar, and the reason why is Andrew Yang rode the UBI wave, right? That wave has been smashed on the rocks of complexity, right? Uh, UBI was always incredibly complex, 
Uh, and Andrew Yang did Herculean efforts to make it simple and for people to understand it. But that, that wave is broken. It is no longer running. Uh, UBI is utterly hard rejected by America. And I don't think we're going to see it again in 2024. It's it's a no. It's it's off the table. I truly believe that, right? So, but Amy Klobuchar is riding a wave that has a lot of momentum. And that is the first female president. That wave has been going on for two decades, two strong decades. And that wave is 30 feet high. And Amy Klobuchar, she's in the she's in the tunnel, right? She is in the whirling white foamy tunnel of that wave on a surfboard. She is doing extremely well. And I really think she's thoroughly outmaneuvered um, Elizabeth Warren. Now, what's, what's really going to happen, though, I was shocked to hear this. I couldn't believe this. Um, I was shocked to hear uh, Stacey Abrams is not being considered for uh, for uh, VP, which means that it's probably going to be Kamala Harris. Um, whew, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if that's going to be really. You know what? It's it's a complete uh, it's a complete sideshow, right? I think Kamala Harris is a, she's a smart, feisty uh, politician, but the reality is, being Joe Biden's fight VP, what's it matter? The guy's got one percent chance of beating Trump. And it's really just a sideshow at this point. And I think one of the biggest story here is uh, Amy Klobuchar did the right moral thing, made room for a, a person of color, a female of color, and it's just a female of color because of the promise Joe Biden has made. That's an unbreakable promise. It would destroy him if he broke that promise. I'm, I'm thoroughly convinced of that. Right? Um, and so female of color, which right now, considering everything that's happened in America, so there's a lot of moral good in there, right? But from a political move perspective, really, absolutely brilliant. It makes just so many benefits for Amy Klobuchar, and, and she's she's in the middle of that wave, that you know first female president wave, which is a progressive wave that is incredibly strong, unlike the UBI wave. So all that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.